Today is day 35, and it marks the sixth week of Lent, and I will be focusing on Mary Magdalene. Now, I assume that she is no stranger to us. Many of us are perhaps familiar with her, because we all know that she is a was a follower of Christ from Magdala, who had a sinful past, who accompanied Jesus Christ and ministered to him. Jesus, in fact, delivered her from the oppression of seven demons, and she was present at, at the foot of the cross when Jesus was crucified, and she also witnessed the burial of Jesus. Interestingly also, she is the first recorded eyewitness of his resurrection, because although Jesus picked men to be apostles, it was to a woman that Jesus appeared first to. And when she encountered the risen Lord, Jesus entrusted her to relay the message to the apostles and disciples, saying, I am ascending to my Father, and your Father, and to my God, and to your God. And Mary, despite having a notorious sinful life, she experienced love and mercy from Jesus, and thus she's considered to be a model penitent. I bring her up because the season of Lent is a perfect opportunity for us to return back to God. No sin is great, too great for God, because if Mary was able to experience the love and mercy of God the Father, despite her sinful past, and so can all of us. And right, and this season is a perfect time for confession. So go for confession if you're able to, so that we may able be able to repent and start over again and know that God loves us and is eager for us to come back to Him. Just like just like the father who waited for his prodigal son to return back to him. So don't hesitate, don't be afraid to be able to offer up your sins, your mistakes to God, and to begin to start over again. May Mary Magdalene intercede for us, and let's use her as an example to always constantly turn back to God, no matter how many times you turn away from him. May God bless all of you.